I was literally just about to bring up fucking kinetic bombardment after you brought up the fucking uh, super plane. <sighs> right. Um. Fucking meme. We're also plane. coming up with a uh, proto, essentially starships, and those are called uh, scramjets. Nice. But there's one catch. If you die in military operations and scramjets, because let's be real, scramjet versus scramjet dogfighting is probably going to happen at some point. It is impossible to bail out. You will die with with yeah, scramjet. Yeah, you'll get like fucking decapitated by the sheer air pressure once your head gets above the fucking. It's not a fucking windshield in a plane, but you know what I fucking talk. The... You know what I would actually the canopy. The canopy that's what it is. Yeah, but what I was thinking too was um. If you built scramjets, wouldn't it actually be kind of nice if it detects a certain amount of damage to just re it to explode anyway? Think about it for a minute. Um, I, mean, that, I mean, that makes more sense because you're not going to fucking bail out of the thing. And if you try to fucking somehow maintain... If you somehow try to maintain it to the point where you can slow down enough to bail out, you're probably just going to get shot to fucking pieces anyways. Yeah, and on top of that, you're not you're not Master Chief or Noble Six or the rookie. You will not survive the orbital fall from your from outside the scramjet. It's not a Dude, part of the orbit. Why do you always jump? Also, uh, I just realized I had Panda muted this whole time because of a glitch from last night. Sorry about that. I, I fixed it. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Uh. Love you, Panda. Oh, yeah, no, she's fun. Yeah. Um, I did, but yeah, that wasn't anything personal, I was just getting, I think we were all, like, super tired, so no one was really talking, and I was just getting weird audio feedback. Biss, I'm glad I can hear you now, how have you been? Panda? I'm hearing a solo clip. Panda, panda! There she is. Here comes the pandas. <laughs> Might be AFK. Um. No, but what I'm excited for is like, did you, just from a futurist perspective, have you looked up Elon Musk's uh, AI integration announcement? Essentially, he invented the neuro implant, basically, and the idea is to link you with AI. And it's not here, so I can talk about this. Um. Alarmingly creepy, though. Well, the, he also gives you the option to merge with AI. That's one of his goals. But what he also thought was, if you opt into integration with this AI, one of the things that it apparently can do is correct for your mental disorders. Oh, okay. So if you are having the nerve, there's literally an implant that goes on top of your brain that allows you to interface with the AI. Mm. Oh, we lost, we lost Panda. Yeah. Sounds like she's having trouble with her internet again. Yeah, her no. internet's being a little bitch. Panda? Ye? Hello. There she hey. is. How are hey. you? I am good. How are you? Uh, I am good. Jesus! Without <laughs> <laughs> yes. going into much further, I just want to say the idea of using that to like correct for mental disorders is kind of cool. Also, just the idea that you can, like, psy essentially psychically uplink to everything is also pretty cool, too. Yeah. I'm being a hubris, but, yeah. Hey, when are... How messed up is it going to be that, like, if we make the Matrix, we'll just create it willingly? Like, that's the thing that I would say is that I like how Let Me Know put this, is that if we had the technology to make the Matrix, we would we probably wouldn't be shoved into it unwillingly. We would probably willingly build it and willingly live in it. Yeah, probably. Because when you think about it, it's like, okay... Why wouldn't all, you? Yeah, all the physical constraints... As so long as you keep your physical body in check, you can essentially choose to live in a world where you don't have to deal with much of life's bullshit. Because an AI doesn't... Damn even, it! Or, like, a computer system doesn't have to worry about scarcity. Yeah. Also, let's be real, VR chat with your friends would be so cool. Wouldn't it be cool to just, like, us snap our fingers, it's future Discord, and now suddenly we are all in the same room. Oh my god, it's like, like a similar concept, but like, all dive games similar to that sort of online concept, but, you know, not trying to murder people. 
Yeah. VR, no, uh, I have... Sorry, go on. No, no, it's fine. Uh, unsurprisingly, yeah. I do have a VR headset, and I can, uh, the Oculus, and I can definitely say, uh, virtualize, especially with the VR chat room, it's a lot more interesting. They're actually adding a few more, uh, interesting things. There's even movie rooms, so those are fun. Going to a virtual movie theater? Now, just imagine there's, like, a room in your house, but every room across the country has the same room, and if all your friends enter this room, you're gonna have like so projections. Like, so like, so it's a yeah, it's like, deck. yeah, basically. But it's it's almost like a server room, like you yeah, know, like no, a server room. Yeah, yeah like but like a room that's just dedicated to like the VR experience. Ah, son of a bitch. So if or I guess they're like kind of more like AR, it'd be like augmented reality. Yeah, but it's like say there's like a ca like two couches in there, like one's on the left, one's on the right, and everyone looks like that. And you come into your virtual room and you're just sitting on the left couch, and oh, so I walk in, mine's like, like, oh hi, border, and then I just sit on the left couch. So on our ends in our rooms, we're both there. Yeah, so it's in like the... psychopaths where like you can yeah. choose the skin that the room is in, but the layout of the room is just the same. I mean, they technically already have this technology with sex toys, by the way, where you send one to your partner and... Yeah, one you can, sure. like, virtually stimulate each other's sex toys, because, like... Uh, there's an app for that. No, there it's- is. This, isn't, this isn't just an app, this is- we're talking literally where, um... If you have the guy one... I'm you, very aware. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um... There's an app for being horny on main. Yeah, so I'm just saying, if we have that for anything technology, nowadays. what that also means is, oh god, meeting up to do things uh, in the future will be so weird, because if you went into the server room for to do anything fun, you could technically do that in a way where it's it's kind of like virtual, it's kind of like virtualism intersecting with well, what used to be real life, because real life is kind of a shifting thing, when you think about it. Isn't that always real, How many of you identify yourselves, at least mentally, with your username yeah. more than your uh, birth name. Yes and no. Yeah. If you're under 30, Depends. there is a statistically massive chance that you identify far more with your online persona than your real, or than your birth certificate self. Well, like, I'm, I'm 33, more, so I reached past that. I mean, it's because it's more, I don't like it. Holy shit, it's you're 33? Yes! How old did you I think I was? I like 27 or something. Like 25. No. Holy sh <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Mr. Hot Sauce over hole. here. I'm sorry? You're like a baby. <laughs> you're you're think, cutting up periodically. I think she does. Let's see. Panda, I think you and Galaxy are the two youngest ones in the call. Probably. I'm 20, so yeah. baby. Yeah, oh, fucking okay. Babu oh. over here. Babu. Babu. I will take out your eyes and feast on them, Grandpa. Baby. <laughs> Don't uh, test me. Excuse me while I go take my medication. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um, I do think that's cool because Ready Player One explored that too, the idea that your it was to to an extent depending on where you God. mentally view yourself as living, whether in your physical environment around you, which is if you're boomer, Gen X, or earlier. And there's us, where technically what we do online is the more real real life to us. It's more personalized yeah. is why. That's just the long well, and the short of it. Well not just that, but like you can no longer argue that not, like you you guys don't argue this, but I know a lot of like I think Doc tried to argue for this at one point, and I didn't. I thought it was like no, but I get it. He's old, so he doesn't get it. It's yeah, like, you want to talk about old? He's no, no, 40. It's, um, no, no, it's that um, <laughs> the what you're doing online is like, are we doing? Is it a fantasy? And it's just like, um, no, it's just a reality different than what you grew up with. And yes, it is replacing yours, but real life is a shifting thing. It's whatever is. Especially psychologically relevant to your life intimately and what you're doing. Oh, come on! I hit the X button. So, it's like you. The idea that, oh, what we're doing here is fantasy, it's like that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like, ontologically, that makes no sense. 
Because you're still doing it, just in a different... Nope. And it just by a different means. And it facilitates all the psychological functions of life and its necessities, and even financial necessities. To, like, to say that it's not there would be like saying, Oh, I just have money appearing in my bank account. You see, I have... Uh, yeah, I have little fantasies in my head, and then money appears in my bank account. That's how that works. If only, that'd be fucking... That'd make life <laughs> fucking easy. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, if you argue from that position, you can, t you can technically yeah. see it that way. And it's still cogent with the initial premise of it. Nope! Ah! Damn it! God, some of these bosses are a pain in the ass. That's a major drawback with this game. The weird part, Golden, is that I thought that you played this game at one point, but then I looked up on you. But then I looked it up, and you never played it, which is like, huh? Oh no, I have played it. I, may, oh, I was able to beat it at one point. It's just a really hard game. Some of these bosses are a bitch to fight. No, I get you. Just, yeah, I just thought that maybe you played it before. Mandela <laughs> and then effect? I probably missed up the gameplay. Mandela effect? Maybe. Oh. Probably. Perhaps. Shut <laughs> 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 Ooh! Nice dodge. Ow! Not so much on the tail! You jinxed yourself. Ooh. Yeah, I kinda did. L you Ah, damn it! I like some of the Gaga songs. What the fuck? Why? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to waste that away. Fuck! Oh, what? not good. Oh, not good. Well. Um, I, I have wasted an elixir. Fuck! <laughs> oh god, this is one of those games that doesn't show you how much health the enemy has. The closest oh, way to thing. know, the closest way to know is when the color starts getting more pale. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Fuck this, I'm like, I'm gonna have to take care of I was like, gonna be really dark for a moment, but then I decided I should just probably keep my mouth shut. Oh, are we um, gonna make a dark <laughs> joke of some kind? Yeah, I was gonna say, just like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Evil. <laughs> that's not no. That's that's, that's not actually that dark, but that's yeah, accurate. I understand. Yeah, yeah. If anything, it's it's a lot more accurate than it is like it's a funny. It's hurt. No, no yes. hold on. Funny, it hurts, kind of thing. I don't know. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, if you want to talk about the crossing of where, like, sort of like which one of you is the real you, like, the one you identify with, on like a birth certificate or your username. A good movie to watch that can get you thinking about that is Ready Player One, because there are scenes that, like, directly deal with that idea. Especially the ending, like, oh my god, the ending, like, executes that perfectly. Yeah. 